Hello, this is Geo Techland, and today I'll be talking about the Ubuntu Touch OTA 10 release. And once again, there's not really much to show on the actual phone itself, but I did just want to note a few highlights. There have been a lot of changes for the Fairphone 2, especially with regards to the camera and um, you know, not taking a, no more upside down selfies. Location has also been worked on, so now it's a bit more accurate, which is always nice if those of you are relying on navigation or for those of you that have Ubuntu Touch and use the map applications like UNAV or even Google Maps, like the web version. One other nice change is the default messaging app now lets you support um, drafts. So sometimes, you know, we take it for granted on Android and iOS. And we're typing a message and then we have to come back to it later the message saves right and i've never really used messaging on ubuntu touch since i don't use it as my phone and so it's kind of nice that this is um there this feature is there so the next thing i'm going to cover is a couple of highlights of some of the best apps for ubuntu touch and so let's get started all right so the first application i wanted to highlight was the fluffy messenger app and this messaging app is a messaging app for matrix so if you're using the matrix protocol whether you're on you're being hosted by matrix.org or ubports.chat you can chat using this uh, application and the one cool thing about this application is that it is um, always frequently updated and every time it does get updated when you open the app it shows you like a little carousal of changes that have been made and so it is just very, um, I think the main highlight is that it's a very useful app and it's always updated frequently. So you know that this project is alive and, and doing well. I have opened up the creator's Patreon because that way you can check it out and see more information on what it's about. And here's a little bit of a preview of me using the app. That's just a very use, useful, simple and nice looking app here. The next application on my list here is the game Balls 2, which yeah, it has a really funny name, but this is very much like a Candy Crush equivalent. So you just have to match like three of the same colored um, balls here. The reason why I include it as a good app here is because it's a very nice looking app and it's very fun. and. It's kind of like a very similar game to games that are you're used to playing like on Android or iOS. The only downside is that it's not really frequently updated, so you won't really expect many changes to happen, but I think it's already a complete game. The next application I wanted to highlight was this game Machines vs. Machines. This game has some nice music there, and it's a tower defense game. Again, it has I think it's very nice looking and easy to get into. One of the cons though of playing it is that again this game is not really supported anymore. There's no real active maintainer or the person that originally created the game no longer works on it but it's a very robust game I think. It's one of the few games I actually played and like throughout all the levels. Again, it's got great music, nice graphics, and it's just a really fun game to play. The next application I wanted to cover is this Gear Boy Color emulator uh, for Game Boy Color games. Fully works, there's no real issues with it. It's simple, but it's a nice looking application. You can even play it sideways like this. I've seen a lot of Android Game Boy emulators and I don't think uh, I haven't seen one that has like a simple nice interface like this one so that's a highlight this app is somewhat updated um, a bit more frequently maybe not too frequently but enough so that it makes me feel like this should be a, a very well supported app another app I wanted to cover was the weather app it's a very simple app and it looks and works pretty good gives you all the information you need here and it actually looks nicer compared to a lot of apps even on Android. And so I just thought it was uh, deserving of a highlight. 
and it is fairly frequently updated so it's always a uh, reassuring it's got lots of nice little sort of graphics here or images here representing the different weather and so i pretty much already like it better than the weather apps i have on android the last few apps i wanted to highlight was were a combination of three apps essentially the pixel fed mastodon diaspora applications so the very first one is you diaspora and the highlight of this is that it lets you choose your instance and it lets you obviously access the your diaspora account all of these apps behave very similarly i think they're using the same underlying code and so then this is the you mastodon app which is for mastodon so it's going to load my fostodon account here which is nice it at one point had some issues not working but now it's uh, in good working order so that's neat and then of course the last one here is the you pixel fed application and again it lets you access the web version of pixel fed and it, it actually is technically the first application for pixel fed because there's not even a web app for it um at least an official web app on ios or android so that's exclusive to ubuntu touch other than that i think that covers some of the apps i wanted to show you there obviously is a lot of other great apps uh, for ubuntu touch but i'm only going to cover a handful each time i make a video and so catch me next time if you want to see more of my videos or more Ubuntu Touch videos. Please like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.